Well, morning Arsenal fans, Arsenal Republic TV fans all around the world. Slow, slow start for us Gunners. Is that the way for us to start winning matches? Let's go straight into the video. <laughs> Okay, so a tense affair. Korov and, and the banking scoring two goals to keep us Arsenal fans on tender hooks. The second goal was down to Petr Cech. So Petr Cech, you got to watch yourself, mate. How many times do you seem to get away with mistakes and you're still playing? God. Okay, so two goals down. And then who comes to the rescue? Welbeck. Danny Welbeck. Lovely goal for, for him, um, helped by El Nene. Maybe El Nene is just realising that he's red card. Um, I'm not sure if it's been rescinded or not. Um, he can't be doing that kind of nonsense. So it seemed to have given the proverbial kick up the rear end. And um, he helped Welbeck score the, the, sec the first goal. Um, and then, um, as luck would have it, Ramsey, who loves a competition, <laughs> he scored the second. So... Yeah, a bit of relief. But like I said in the last video, it was only the first half. A new Russia, oh, Russia, a new CSK Moscow would come back at us. And we have to be very careful because slow, slow wins so far. You've seen the matches against Marseille, Atletico um, Madrid and RB Salzburg taking out Lazio like that. We can't be acting slow. We really can't be acting slow. Um, I have to pull back things a little bit on the negative side, unfortunately. Um, we've got Ozil, but where was he? Where was he? I, I didn't, it's the, the most, one of our most expensive players, and he acts like an invisible man. He, games like this is where you need to see him. And then there's Wilshire, unfortunately. Wilshire um, got injured, and... I'm not sure if it's the contract talks that may be um, affecting his, his performance or if it's just down to fitness. But he's taking another knock again. And it, I don't know, it's, um, it's not looking good. Um, if, if you've got to choose which player you want to keep in the summer, do you want to keep Ramsey or Wilshire? Who's your money going to be on at this, mo at this moment in time going on, on present form? Not a good one to, to, to look at. Okay, um, Iwobi. Um, I know he's a youngster. I know that he's trying his best. We've got to keep faith with him. But he's got to try harder. He's really got to try harder. And like I said before, with the likes of Marseille, um, Atletico Madrid and RB Salzburg scoring goals home and away, Starting slow is not the way forward, I don't think. I think we've got to show aggression with aggression and we've got to be up there. We've got to be, we've got to be quick. Otherwise, you see other teams fall apart. That could be us. Okay, so slightly moving forward, we've got Newcastle and away. So um, maybe we might be able to um, salvage um, three more points. Again, based on their current form as well. But you can't take these teams lightly. They, like I said before, they always seem to bring up their A game when it's us. Anybody else, they, you know, they they capitulate. When it's Arsenal, they seem to have that little bit more, you know, fight in them. So we can't take any teams lightly. Okay, so at Arsenal Republic TV, we are running a competition. Da -da -da. Yeah, a competition for you lovely fans of ours. So um, the first prize is a £100 Arsenal gift voucher. The second prize is £50 gift voucher. And the third prize is a £20 Arsenal gift voucher. Sorry, nothing for fourth. You know that, right? Okay, so um, the premise of the competition is that you've got to enter, you've got to subscribe to our channel. So once you subscribe to our channel, the competition is... Which three are ex-Arsenal players you would like to have in the current team? Which three ex-players would you like to have in the current team? For me, it'd be 
controversial. It would be Tony Adams. It would be Dennis Burkamp. And it would be Thierry Henry. I know, I know. Perez or someone in the back. Uh, Keown, Dixon, midfield. That's for you to choose. Okay, so you've got to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Um, Alex is back in the UK, so no doubt he'll be sending some more videos as well from his exploits out in South America. And again, it's a bit of a dour day, I'm sorry, um, but we're through. Here's Ralph talking to all the Arsenal Republic fans. And I'll see you on the next video.